14 and 0. The first time it's ever happened in the history of Ellison. You are the architect and the brains of the operation. <laughs> Tell us how it feels to be the first coach of the first Lady Eagles team to ever go 14 and 0 in district play. I am so blessed to be able to coach a great bunch of young ladies who have just exceeded everyone's expectation except themselves mm -hmm. in reaching such a, a milestone in girls basketball and, and especially for Ellison when they uh, said they were going to do it and things. I knew what it was going to take for them to do it and they did everything that they needed to in order to succeed. So it's very humbling to be a part of it and you know but it's just not about me it's being able to have a very uh, one of the best staffs in the state of Texas my assistants they do a great job in working with the kids and helping me get done what we need to get done and also the administration who backs us 100 percent in things that we need in order to be successful and so it's like it Today, even when I thought about it, I was this morning. I was thinking, I, "Wow, they did it! They did it! They went through the whole district, and their hard work paid off for them in great dividends because they're excited and they really believe that anything they set their minds to do, they can do." And I wanted to carry over not just in basketball, but whatever they choose to do in their lives, in their grades, uh, you know, in, in the community, they can succeed. And I don't, and I think. What I told them like, to, no one can take this away from them. And this is stuff I believe when they get my age, they're going to still remember they were the first. Coach, was there a moment, a practice, a game, early in the season, middle of the season, that, was there a, a, just one moment where you knew this team was going to be special? Uh, after the first round, to be really honest with you, after the first round, it started clicking that these girls are on the mission and stuff and uh, and that they were going to be really they can do whatever they set out to do when I really watched in tough games that they never wavered they didn't get overly excited they didn't look nervous that they were just even kill even when I was yelling fussing and you know trying to get that money they were still the same they didn't start doing anything out of their realm, out of what they felt comfortable with, what we had practice on and things like that. We didn't have to have our heroic moments. I knew then mm -hmm. they are going to do this. Coach, what if somebody would have told you over the summer, mm -hmm. well, Coach, you won't have one kid over 5'10 on your team, mm -hmm. but you'll uh, out-rebound most of the teams, and you're going to run the table, and you're going to go, win the district championship, and not only that, you're going to go 14-0, and... You're going to make history as the first team ever in the history of Ellison High with nobody over five foot ten, only two seniors to go fourteen and zero. What would you have told somebody? <laughs> that I appreciate their their faith. I, I, me being a Christian, I believe anything can happen, and and uh, uh, so. The, but it would have been like uh, I would say made that statement to them. But inside, I would be thinking. Really? <laughs> really, that's going to happen? I, I had to change my coaching style a little bit. It's been six years. I've not had a, a girl over six foot. I had for uh, four, I think I've had at least a six two player, six one player. And to not have that, that was one of my biggest concerns. How are we going to get this done? I wasn't concerned with the playoffs. They, the, the, I think within our program, the kids understand. I'm a winner. We're we're winners. We no matter what we do, we're gonna we're never gonna roll over for anybody. We're gonna bring our best game, and we're gonna play hard. So that part that there's a tradition that we've built there, and they understand with the kids, with the staff that we're we're winners. But how we were gonna get it done, and what would happen, that 14 and 0, uh, the thinking for me at the beginning, we're getting to the playoffs. We were going to figure this out and how we're going to get to the playoffs. Start preseason, the schedule that we played at some ranked teams and uh, not winning all of those and things. And then, the, you know, the biggest player at 5'10". You know, how was that going to work for us when in the district we have kids that are 6'4". And most everybody probably has 
whatever that's bigger than us. But when I saw them working hard, those girls working hard again, I got these kids are special. They're going to get it done. And just to throw anything I've thrown out to them and told them about, that they've tried to live up to that and try to do that. But they had just determined when I told them, I've been 13 and one. We've been that. We've won that. We've done that and been district champs two out of the three years. And they can make it three out of four. And they want to make some history. Last year's team won more games than any team, uh, girls basketball team with their 32, uh, 33 wins. And this year, what can we put out there special for these kids to strive for? Well, after the first round, it was the. That's when I told them, I never. I've never been 14 and 0. I've been there eight years. I've never had a 14 and 0 season. And man, that's all they needed to hear. <laughs> Telling me, we got you, coach. We're going to be that team. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. And and uh, they made a believer out of me.